Welcome back to this part 4 video tutorial on automatic invoice in Excel. In this video, you will learn how to link the invoice to inventory sheet and notify the stock availability status in real time while creating an invoice. If you have not watched the previous parts of automatic invoice, request you to watch them first for better understanding. First, let me quickly demonstrate what we are going to do here. In this inventory sheet, there is the details of item name, opening stock, receipts, sales, and balance stock. This sales and balance stock will auto-update when a new invoice is created. In the invoice sheet, here you can see the available stock quantity. Select an item in the invoice sheet to see its balance. If you enter quantity that is greater than available stock, you'll get a stock out notification. For example, available stock of product C is 99 units. Let's enter 100 units and see what happens. Here you see a stock out notification message pop up. It says, this quantity is not available. Please reduce the quantity or remove the order. Let's start learning how to add this feature in the automatic invoice sheet. First, add a new sheet and rename this as inventory. In cell A1, put the title as inventory status. In A3 cell, put the column headers. These are item name, opening stock, receipts, sales, and balance stock. In the cell below item name, create a link of items from the customer item master sheet. For this, press is equal to, then click on customer item master, click on first item name, and press enter. Drag the linked cell down to get other items. If your item list grows in future, take some more rows while dragging. Put the opening stock quantities at the beginning of month or year. This receipt column has to be updated when an item is received in the warehouse. In sales column, use some if function to dynamically get the item Y sales quantity total from the database sheet. Increase the range taken in formula to 10,000. I have assumed that the data in sales database does not exceed 10,000 row. If your data can exceed 10,000 row, you can increase this. In the balance stock column, use this formula. Opening stock plus receipt minus sales. Next, we have to validate the quantity column of invoice sheet with the balance stock. If entered quantity exceeds the balance stock, a stock out notification should pop up. For this, click on invoice sheet, click on K12 cell, and write balance stock. Below it, use the VLOOKUP function to display the balance stock for the item selected in quantity column. Let me select product C from the list. Look at the balance stock column. We have 23 units of stock available for product C. To validate quantity column with stock column, use the data validation. First, select the quantity range, click on data tab, then data validation. From this drop down menu, choose custom option. In the formula box, write this formula is equal to C13 less than or equal to K13. Click on error alert tab. In the title, write stock out. In the error message, write this quantity is not available. Please reduce the quantity or remove the item. Click on OK button. Now, if you input the quantity that is greater than available stock, it will give you stock out notification. For example, let me put here 24 units. Here you see stock out notification pop up. Reduce the quantity which is available, and it is accepted. Same way, validation will be applied to all items.
So, this is how we can connect the invoice sheet with inventory tracker sheet to automatically maintain the inventory and out and balance and validate the quantity column with the stock balance. If you want to download the workbook used in the tutorial, visit the webpage link given in video description. In the next and final part of automatic invoice, you will learn how to lock the calculated cells of the template using VBA to prevent accidental change or delete of the formulas. Thank you so much for watching this video.